your name is jeffrey jeffrey disuza disuza from moira yeah uh, jeffrey uh, you play what instruments i play bass drum and uh, bass guitar okay you are telling us about your dad and his connection with my dad in the 60s what was that it's about the which agusto pinto keeps which saying we have the dances in uh, moira then we didn't have much crowd there were a lot of either gents i don't know or ladies were missing okay so he used to take the ladies from saligaon and uh, gents from moira and vice versa they used to exchange it for their feast and you all used to have the dances in the 60s which year this is uh, uh, early 70s late 60s yeah late 60s your dad had come back from africa or what yes which part it was nairobi kenya yeah. nairobi i see i see so there was this westernized uh, group of uh, people there yeah. which were the bands then you remember them and johnson and the jolly boys and gay cabellos also played in the club emily and the cruz i know i remember that and johnson uh, was from sholi yeah what was the cost of a band in those days i had to know because i was not a few hundred rupees maybe but it was yeah. a lot of money there yeah but they used to come on time they used to come early they used to come by bike cycles cycles yeah. from where from various places from santa cruz then uh, from santa cruz so far yeah. even from kanguli and you know. all yeah even uh, mapsa there was uh, Johnson band there was some members. members tell us about your dad my dad uh, was working for the royal college in nairobi royal college of royal college uh, it's a it's, it's a institution a, okay a college yeah. educational college yeah. as a secretary as a secretary and then uh, before that he was having a typing institute in moira the first typing institute which one called saint javier's saint javier's where in moira in a house only this residence this is 20 typewriters where where Which part of Moira? It is North Portugal. North Portugal. And Atha Fonde also. Atha Fonde. Twenty typewriters. Yeah. People used to come and learn. Yeah. Many people have learned shorthand and typing. And, and then go abroad. Yeah. It was a big skill yeah. in those days. This is uh, 40s, 30s, 50s. 1962. Uh, 62. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, before he went to Africa. Before that year. Before. Uh, before he went to Africa. Yeah. I don't remember the exact dates. Yeah. And as far as music, can you add? Music actually, our neighbor was a very good musician. I have forgotten to write his name in the. Sovinia. Uh, yeah, that is uh, Nazareth. John Nazareth was there, and uh, he was a saxophone and uh, clarinet player. First, uh, before all the musicians, he is uh, one of the top clarinet players. He was the neighbor. In Nova Portugal. Yeah. Moria is a very musical village. Yeah. You wrote that something. Is, uh, you you wrote something. Yeah, I wrote. Uh, article for the souvenir with the help of agusto only when your club completed 100 years yes. uh, you all brought out a souvenir mm. which agusto edited and yes. glennis wrote uh, another yeah, piece yes. another piece glennis had written earlier also a piece on uh, musicians but it was in the some other okay. magazine yeah. okay okay you wrote for this yeah i had gone do to do to find out to, yeah still i didn't get and now i'm getting some more information also as when people so notice it the information it. comes in you yeah. have to revise it Who are the people you forgotten to mention? This uh, Nazareth I forgotten. Then uh, there are many more also, but uh, they have already passed away yeah. before I. Yeah. Whatever, but whatever, yeah. Before 1960 it is. Before you are born. Very interesting. Thank you so much uh, for that slice of life.